This is Papa Brad coming at you with a review of Samurai Aces, a vertically scrolling shooter available now on the iArcade. This is a great shmup you should check out. This game was released by Psycho in 1993. It was their first game and was designed by the founder of Psycho, Shin Nakamura. He was also the creator of Arrow Fighters, Sonic Wings. Science fantasy story of Samurai Aces revolves around six feudal Japan characters sent on a mission to stop an evil cult and rescue the Shogun's kidnapped daughter before she can be used as a sacrifice to resurrect their demon god. The game features 21 different endings, different for various characters and two-player pairings. The game's characters include Flush, a 25-year-old one-eyed blonde samurai. Jen, a 77-year-old scientist with a small robot assistant who flies a small super fighter plane that resembles an X-Wing from the Star Wars movies. You've got Jane Hayate, a 21-year-old blonde, beautiful female ninja who flies a glider. You've got a super genius dog. You've got Nico. And then you have a 50-year-old Japanese Buddhist wandering monk known as Tengai, who will return in a game down the road, also by Saikyo. Tengai was recommended as one of our top 10 shooters on the IRK. Here's a link where you can check out that video. Like most great shooters, to really complete the game, you have to run through the entire game two times. And this one is no different. I'm just going to start with my completion of the first run through. You'll get a cool little cutscene. After completing the first loop, I'm just going to cut and show you some of my favorite parts of the game, some of the interesting bosses that you're going to face. And one of the great things about this game is the boss after boss, and they're all really cool. They're all really different. They all have that uh, feudal Japan style, but with a little bit of gothic um, built into it. So that makes it a pretty cool overall art style. They would follow up this game with Gunbird, which is an absolute shmup masterpiece. It's also an included packing game on IRK. Definitely one of my favorite shmups. While this was Psycho's first game, it was a great game. And this game would return three years later with a sequel called Tengai. One of the things I really like about this shmup is the pure variety in the types of bosses that they throw at you. Like any good shmup, don't expect to just jump in and master this game. Um, it's going to take some practice, it's going to take some learning the bullet routing to get good at the game. I will say this though, it's a very enjoyable game, and considering this is the first game they made, they just got better and better. But you can see the roots of all the other great sh uh, shmups they've made in this game. I'm going to wrap this up with the ending of my second loop, which you have to do to get to the end of the game, and enter my high score. Huge shout out to Leo DS for the recommendation of this excellent shmup. If you like shmups, this is definitely one you should check out. It's a lot of fun. This has been Papa Brad reminding you to stay legit. Hit that thumbs up before you leave. Also, if you like content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're into iArcade, I do a show called The iArcadians.